today's date we have 11, 15, 17. So we're going to find quadratic regression equations to fit a scatter plot. Okay, we're going to find quadratic regression equations to fit a scatter plot. So the quadratic regression, you know, remember how we did the linear regression right on our calculator? It's the same thing, except we're just going to use the quadratic regression. Of course, we know that when we're talking about the quadratic regression, this word here, quadratic, means that it's going to have to be some x squared. So we know that our answer is going to be some y equals some ax squared plus bx plus c. All of our answers are going to look like that, okay? If it's a quadratic, it's going to be an x squared, right? So it's really not too hard because the calculator is going to do all of the work except for one thing. We just have to push the buttons, okay? That can't be that hard, can it? But we have to push the right buttons at the right time, right? So let's figure it out. So example one, okay? Graph three points and then determine the quadratic model to fit these points. So point A is 0, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? 2, 1, and then 3, 2, okay? Now, if I graph those three points, there could be, and I'm just going to trace it in because I, I do not know exactly where it goes. There could be some parabola that maybe goes through all three of them, okay? I'm just going to draw it in by hand, right? There could be. I could draw it in and it could touch all three, okay? So what I want to do though is find the equation of that line. So let me erase this because that's not really there yet, okay? So to do that, we're just going to go into our calculator. I've got our steps here. So first step is to go to stat, right? So I'm going to go to stat, right? Stat is right there, okay? So go to stat. So you can get that under, there you go. So you can see, go to stat. All right, I'll turn on, on helps. What? Of course, I grabbed the one without batteries, huh? Or dead batteries. All right, as I'm recording, I will change batteries out, okay? Oh, that's a bummer, huh? Hold on. No recording. Okay. There. There. Good thing I bought new batteries. Let's see if it works. I know, I am recording. Really? Okay, I have a dead calculator. Well, that's no good. All right. Give me a second to find a calculator that's going to work. Um, they're all gone, of course. Thank you. Years. Okay. So, you are. Okay, so first of all, go to stat, right? I'm going to exit, quit, to start all again. So go to stat, right? To edit. Okay, I've got the steps written down for you. Go to edit. Um, if you have anything already in there, we're just going to highlight the list. Remember how we clear it? Highlight the list and push clear and down arrow. Okay, go up. Highlight your list, right? Thank you. Hit clear and down arrow, okay? Right? And then I'm going to put into list one the x value. So my list one in here, my list one, L1, is going to be simply my 0, my 2, and my 3. And my list two is going to be my y values, which are going to be the 5, the 1, and the 2, okay? How am I doing? Am I doing okay? So let the x values be list 1, the y values be list 2. So I'm going to put them in. So I'm going to put 0, enter, 2, enter, and 3, enter. Okay. I'll go over to list 2. Okay. List 2 is going to be my y values. 5, enter, 1, enter, and then 2, enter. Okay. How am I doing? Okay. Oh, I sure can. How's that? Is that better? I'm sorry. And Alexis, I'll get out of your way, okay? So now, um, what we're going to do is we've entered new data. So then I'm going to slide this over so you can see. 
So once I get the data in, let's go back to stat, because we want to calculate an answer, right? Calculate, right? Enter. Um, I've got to tell it to use list one, and list two, but put commas in between. Before I do that, oops. wait, what are we clicking? Stat, never mind. We, we calculate calc quad reg. Yep, got ahead of myself. Thank you, thank you. So go to calculate and quad reg. You see number five? Because we want the quadratic reg. So we want the quad reg. Megan, you want me to back up? Oh, you're back. And then enter now L1, right? List one, comma. Don't forget the comma. L1. L1's in blue and it's by the number one. So push blue. Push your blue button, second, yeah. Oh. And then push, there you go. And push your comma, which is right above the seven. Okay, right above the seven. And we're going to go then, so comma, and then list two, right? Okay. And then when you push enter, I'm going to get my answer, okay? So there it is. So it even gives me the format, which is nice. It gives me the, you know, the y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And all I need to do is just put in the a. B and C. So the answer would be y equals a 1x squared minus 4x plus 5. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you one other thing before we do example 2. Okay. Um, we can also put the graph, the scatter plot, on our calculus. So I'll show you how we're going to do that. Okay. So if we want to put, and I'll go slowly, if I want to put the scatter plot, the scatter plot on my calculator, and I want to put the equation and see how well they match up. To do a scatter plot, I'm going to go and see where it says scat plot, stat plot. I'm going to hit blue. Okay. Okay. So I went to right here, stat plot. So the second stat plot. And now what I want to do is turn it on. Now I've got list one, list two, which is what I want, right? For me, I've got list one, list two, but I have to just turn it on. So I'm going to go ahead and push enter and turn it on, okay? So now it will graph my points, okay? Um, so before I do a whole lot though, let me check my window. I want my window to fit. So if I go to my window now, and I want it to fit this graph, so maybe I'll just do something like from negative 5 to 5, maybe negative 5 to 5. Yeah, I'm just going to make it fit the graph, negative 5 to 5, and maybe, oh, I don't want that, clear that, and maybe I'll go negative 5 to, let's see, that goes up to at least 5. So maybe I'll do 10 there. Okay, there's my window. Negative 5 to 5 on the x's. That makes sense. Negative 5 to 5 on the x's scales by 1's. And on the y's, I'm going negative 5 to 10. Okay. So if I push graph, you ready? I'm not going too fast. There's my points. Oh, and there's a line on there, but I'll get rid of the line in a second. Like a yeah, so there's my points. You guys get the three points? Everybody get the three points? I have a line. Who did not I get did. the three points? Okay. Mine's like zoomed in. Okay, so check your window, okay? I just did. you check your window? Okay. I did exactly what you did. Is it supposed to? <coughs> no, that makes you right. So you're scared of what? Is it right? No. Um, it should be a way like this. Oh, you didn't turn it on. What do you mean I didn't turn it on? There you go. Still, still the same thing. Oh, those are the points. Dude, just, it's fine. Oh, you said it. Oh. Okay. So, now, I've got my three points. Okay. Everybody have the three points? But i got more on mine because if I go to y equals, yesterday, yesterday I graphed a, I graphed a line. Okay, so I want to get rid of this line. I'll clear this out. And what equation, what line do you think I want to put? Let's put our equation. And I want to put my equation because I'm just curious to see how good my line is. So I push y equals, right? Oh. Y equals. And it does say plot one's on, so now I'm going to put my x squared, subtract 4x plus 5, okay? So I'm going to type in the, my quadratic to see if the points and the line match up, and they should. They should match up perfectly, okay? Graph. Look at that. So what I have on my calculator now is the equation that fits our points. Because we made the equation right, it should fit the points, and we have the points also on the calculator, okay? Pretty cool. All right, now let's take a look at the next example, okay? You guys, my thumbs up, thumbs up. So, next example, let's go ahead and do some. So, 
diameter. Let's make sure this is my D for diameter. This is my time. And it makes sense. You got a spool, right, of film. And we all know that if it's really super big, right, it tends to rotate more slowly. But we know as it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, that wheel starts moving faster and faster. Does that make sense, everybody? Really big spool, you know, and chunk, 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 chunk. But as you think it's smaller and smaller, then it starts going faster and faster and faster. So this is what's going on. You've got a, a film. And when the diameter of the wheel is 5, it's moving at 5.5 um, minutes per reel. 7, here's a time. So let's go ahead first and do a scatter plot. So first of all, what I need to do is I need to get to at least 13.75. So let me check. I might have to go by 2. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, I can do it. It's going to fit. So let's go by 1. Scales by 1. These are got to get to 44, so I might go by 5s. 5, I might go 10, 20, 30, 40, okay? So I'm going to change my scales to 5s. And let's just do a scatter plot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13's there. So 5 and 5. 5.5 is about, it's about there, huh? 7 is about 11.2, so about there. Uh, 9.25 is about 16, so about, about there. 9, about there maybe. 10, point five and 22. Maybe about there. 12.25 and 33 is about maybe right about there. And then 13.75 and 44 is up to here. It looks like it curves. It definitely looks like it curves. Um, and it probably is a quadratic model because area, the circle, is, is pi r squared. So it's got to be it's got to be a squared function. So, all right find the quadratic model. Okay, that's easy, right? We know how to do that. So let's make this list one, right? List two, okay. And thanks, Leora. I'll give this to you when I'm done. So I'm going to put, let see what I got. So I'm going to go back to stat, right? Edit. I'm going to get rid of my old data, highlight it, clear it down. Highlight, clear it down, right? And then I'm going to go 5, 7, 9.25, 10 10.5, 12.25. Oh, wait, I'll slow down. Wait for you, okay? Okay? I'll wait for you, Megan. Okay? So I'm just putting these numbers in. That's all I'm doing, okay? And I'll put the Y numbers in also, okay? I'll wait for you. So go ahead and enter all your data, you guys. Okay. So then, how am I doing? We'll go back to these directions up here. We're going to go back to those, right? We're going to go to stat, right? Calculate quad reg. Megan, how am I doing? L1, comma, L2, right? Enter. So there's my answer. Um, I'm going to have to do a little bit of rounding, okay, because of decimals. Um, and I always say with rounding, just use a little common sense. That's pretty close to 0. 0.4, so I'll just round it to 0. 0.4. I mean, you got 0. 0.397, so why not 0. 0.4? So I'm going to say, I'm going to calculate, I'm going to go y equals a 0. 0.4x squared minus a 3.12x plus an 11.9, okay? So that's my quadratic model, okay? Predict the time for a 15-inch reel. Well, 15-inch reel, that would have to go into 
the x is right. So let's put 15 in for x. So let's plug 15 in there and in there, right, to, to predict the time. So I'll go y equals 8.4 times my 15 squared minus my 3.12 times my 15 plus 11.9, right? All right, let's see what we got here. Look clear. 0.4. Can you see my positive? No. Right. 0.4 parentheses 15 squared. Subtract 3.12. Parentheses 15 plus 11.9, right? And I can answer about 55.1 in terms of minutes, right? So I get about 55.1 in terms of minutes, okay? Now, I want you to do me one big, huge favor before we stop. And that is I want to turn the scatter plots off because they're rather annoying when they're on when you don't need them. So how do you turn the scatter plot off? Everybody wants you to turn the scatter plot off. So you're going to go back to stat plot. Okay, I want you to turn them off, push enter, turn it off, and push enter. Does that make hey, sense? Okay, I'll do it again. Okay, quick. I'll go to right there. I want to go right to here. I want that blue right there. Okay, I want that blue. So I want that blue for my stat plot. Okay, and then it probably says on right there for you. Doesn't it say on? Does it say on? Okay, so push enter. <coughs> Move it over to the off position, right? Push enter, turn it off. And that way, when fourth period does it, right, it's off, right? Okay, enter is off, okay? Okay, good. Now, that might be too much homework for you. So maybe I'll cut some down. I'm stuck in Okay, hold on. Let me take a look. I will. Ah, let me take a look at this so I can give you a little less. 377. We'll call it classwork. We'll just call it classwork. Okay. Let's do eight for sure. We can get rid of eleven. We'll get rid of eighteen. We'll keep twenty nine. I know. Oh, I like that one. I like 36. That's kind of weird. does weird stuff when you press the graph button. And then we'll do just 58. Okay, so that's it. I just have four problems, right? 8, 29, 36, and 58. That's it. Just four problems, okay? That's not bad. Oh. <laughs> Thank you.